Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I solved the Mr. Robot machine from the Wound Hub. It's this one here. Uh, so it says that it has uh, three keys and the level of the machine is uh, beginner intermediate. Okay, so I already have the machine running in the virtual box over here. So we can start working on it right away. Okay, so let's open new terminal. And first, what we need to do is find the IP address of the machine. So I'll run this command. And since I know my environment, I know that this is the IP address of the machine. So let's note it down. Okay, so we'll have to create another folder. So let's go to desktop and we'll create Mr. Robot folder. And in it we'll uh, touch notes and let's open them like this. And then this is the machine. Okay. And my IP here is uh, this one 192.168.18. Let's copy that into the notes also. Okay, so the first next step is to do the end map of the machine. Okay, so as you can see, we are scanning all the ports and we will be saving the results in the end map scan file just to have for um, as a reference for later. Okay, this will take a while, so I will stop the recording. Okay, so after a while, this is the results that we got from end map. So we have three ports open, 22, uh, which is actually in state closed. Uh, we have 80 and uh, 443. Okay, so uh, the next thing that we'll do is uh, run Nikto on this URL and uh, see what it will find. Okay, so the first interesting thing that uh, Nikta found is the there is the existence of robots.txt. Uh, so while this is working, let's see uh, what's in the robots.txt. So 192.168.1.2 slash first let's see what's on this URL. So let's see what kind of a site is that. Oh, sorry, it's uh, four. No, this is from my, some other machine. It must be cached. Okay, so this is the Mr. Robot machine. Not sure why it's still caching the previous machine that I was solving. Anyways, this is the Mr. Robot, so it has a very fancy website built here. And let's do the robots.txt. Yeah, so as you can see, there is a WordPress. Uh, not sure this is still <laughs> this is the robots.txt from uh, the rob the I don't, I don't know why my browser is caching the previous results anyways this is the uh, results from the robots.txt from the uh, mr. robot machine so we see that there are two files fcit a dictionary and uh, the first key that we need to find Okay, so what we'll do here is uh, let's open a new panel here, new window, and we'll just uh, double get uh, the key from there, and we'll also double get uh, the dictionary file, which was this one. Okay, so let's open open it like this so yeah this is the first key okay we can note it down in our in our notes here so we'll say key one and this is the dictionary so when you open it there's a lot of files here so if we check how many so if we do uh, if we get this uh, site the dictionary and we count the number of lines we'll see that there is uh, uh, 
a lot of lines here. But if you analyze the file, uh, if you analyze the file, you will see that there are a lot of passwords that are repeating. So uh, what we can do here is uh, we can sort uh, sort this. Uh, sorry, I already had a command here. So we can uh, sort this uh, F Society dictionary file and uh, and uh, just take the unique passwords and store them into the wordless dictionary. And we'll do that. So if we now get this word list dictionary and check how many uh, how many lines are in there, how many passwords, you will see that there is a lot less passwords in there. Okay, so uh, let me see here if if Nikto found something else in the meantime. So it says that there is an admin. So let's. Uh, check that so if we go here and if we go to slash admin nothing if we put something random we see that we are on a wordpress site which is which is good so at least we know now that we are uh, on the wordpress site so what we can do next is uh, while Nikta is working we can do wp scan and try to find the usernames for this uh, wordpress site so we are enumerating usernames but as we can see uh, wp scan could not find any usernames on this site so what we'll have to do is we'll have to uh, find our user, find usernames ourselves. Also, Nikto found that it's a WordPress installation over here, and there is a VP login admin page and so on. Okay, so now that we know that it's a WordPress site, we we can go to slash VP login and try to hack our way in. But since we don't know the username, first what we need to do is find the username. And uh, there is a way to do that uh, since, uh, for example, if we do like this, uh, we see that it says invalid username. So until we get the, the username right, this will say invalid username. And once we have the username, it will then check just for the password. Okay, so we can use Hydra for this. So uh, let me close uh, this. So in our folder, we have the wordless dictionary. So I already have this Hydra line somewhere in here. Uh, sorry, it's not that one. Uh, yeah, it's this one. We'll just use dot four here. So what are we doing here? So this is the URL of the machine. Uh, dash capital L means that we are going to use a dictionary for usernames. Uh, dash small p means that we are using test as a password for, uh, for all these usernames. And so it will change the usernames and the password will, will always be test. This is the type of the attack that we are doing. It's the HTTP forum post. And then this is the URL. So we are using dash with login. This is the placeholder uh, which Hydra uses to uh, replace the usernames. So this uh, caret, user caret, will be replaced by one of the lines, but, but by one of the usernames from this file. This will always be replaced by this, which means that this will always be test. And what we are looking here, uh, uh, so we we can say that this test failed if there is still invalid username on the page. So if we still see this text here, invalid username. Okay, uh, this mean this this means that actually we don't need uh, then. Uh, dash w on uh, dash v on the beginning so this means that it will uh, be verbose this means that this, this will ignore previous searches this means it will stop dash f means it will stop when the first uh, username password combination is found and this will save everything in the found uh, text file okay so we can start now and very quickly, uh, Hydra finds that the username is Elliot. 
so we can note this down let's copy this let's uh oh sorry we closed our text file so let's go to desktop and notes okay and here we will uh, note that the username is Elliot. So the next thing that we have to do is crack the password with the, uh, also with Hydra. So uh, what we have to do now is change this. So let's go to the beginning. So right now, so we'll not use the file. Uh, we will use the just one username, which is Elliot. And now we will use the file for the password and it will, it will be our word list dictionary. Uh, so this is all the same except now the su success for WordPress is when the redirect happens. So we are looking for the location and everything else mean, means the same. Okay, so we'll start cracking right now. Okay, this might take a few minutes, so I will stop the recording, not to waste your time. Okay, after a while we got the password for um, a username Elliot, and it's this thing here. So let's uh, note it down. So. Okay, let's try to log in into the uh, WordPress. So this is Elliot, and we'll paste the password here. And yeah. We are logged in. Um, I took a look at. Uh, I tried to see there are no posts here, there are no pages and stuff like that. So um, no hidden keys here. So let's just skip right ahead. So the next thing that we'll need to do is uh, plant the reverse PHP shell, and in the WordPress there is an editor. So I will go to the Pentest Monkey, and since WordPress is a PHP uh, CMS, we'll download the uh, PHP reverse shell here. Like this. Okay, let's extract it. And let's copy it into desktop Mr. Robot here. Before we uh, deploy it, we have to set up um, the IP address and the port. So let me just uh, open this with the Sublime. So over here we have to set up the IP address of our machine. And let's take a look at the notes. This is the IP address of our machine. So we'll just copy it here. And for the port we'll use 4444. Okay, so we'll copy all this, this whole file, and uh, if we go here and we'll choose the 404 template, or you can choose basically any template, but uh, I'm not sure which page uses which template, so the 444 is the easiest to just find by typing an unknown, uh, unexisting address. So, yeah, we paste everything, we updated the file, and uh, let's open uh, the blog again. And now if we go to some unexisting URL like this, it says connection refused because we didn't start the listener. Okay, let's start the listener here on the port 444 and let's refresh the page. And yeah, we got the connection from the machine. Uh, we This is us on this machine, so daemon. Okay. Um, so the first thing is uh, to upgrade this shell into something useful. So let's see, I think there was a regular version of Python, so Python 2. Uh, so let's uh, use this. So import pty and then pty.spawn slash bin slash bash. Okay, let's go to home cd robot okay we have two files here one is the key and one is the password draw md5 so if i now try to cat this key it says permission denied so if you take a look 
so only the owner robot can read this key file. So we need to somehow uh, find the username, if I, not, not username, find the password for this robot file. And as you guess, this is what this other file here is for. We can read it. So if we get this uh, file here, we see that this is actually username and password and the password is md5 hashed as the file says so we'll notice note this down here and we'll take this cache and go to the crack station and paste it here and try to decrypt the md5 and it decrypts to all the letters of the alphabet okay so our username and uh, password combination is this one so now we have to, to switch to robot account and we'll just copy this and paste it in here and yeah we are now robot now we can get the now we can get the key two of three dot txt so cat and let's play this here okay this is our second key Okay, two out of three keys done. Let's note this down. So key two is this one. So the final key is um, uh, the root key. So we have to find a way to get into the root. Uh, so I will skip checking everything because I already, already saw the box. So I know which way to go. So the way to go here is by finding the files that have SUID on them. So yeah. Uh, how we do that? Uh, we find, we search for all the files that have permission 4000 and uh, 4 basically means that it's um, SUID, uh, uh, SUID uh, bit on it. So most people think that the permissions only have 3, uh, three numbers here but actually they have 4 and these are uh, these are actually, if you turn them as bits, so the first bit is for the uh, SUID, second bit is for group ID, and uh, the last bit, less powerful bit, is for the uh, sticky bit. So if we say 4, it means it's, the bit is 100, which means it's the SUID on them. And we'll do just this, so we always see the results. Okay, so among this list, this one, this guy immediately stands out because if you do this often, these are the files that you usually see on a lot of machines, but Nmap is not. So if we go to uh, get the f uh, bin and check for Nmap, we see that there is a lot of that Nmap can be used to uh, actually uh, get a shell. And we use, we'll use this way. We'll start Nmap in an interactive, as an interactive with uh, interactive uh, attribute here, and then we'll we, we will spawn the shell. So uh, let's just have this here. So let's copy this, paste it here, and then just do uh, exclamation mark sh. And now, as you can see. Uh, our ID still is robot, but effective ID is root. That means that we can now go to slash root, do ls, and get this key here, which is the last key that we needed to find. Okay, let's note it down. So the last key is key three, and uh, that's it. Okay, guys, um, this is it. Uh, we uh, finished the machine. If you like what you saw, please give me a like and uh, see you in the next machine.